Another practical point that I want to mention is that uh, we have been studying MPPT where the load is resistance or not. But many times the load need not be resistance, it could be dynamic, it could be comprising of uh, other uh, capacitive loads, other uh, DC-DC converter loads uh, and uh, similar such dynamic elements. Uh, so how do we uh, perform MPPT? So if we take our normal MPPT topology, it is something like this where you have a DC-DC converter which is interfacing the PV source and I have a MPPT controller which takes the PV current and uh, the terminal voltage and then provides the duty cycle input to the DC-DC converter such that the impedance RT seen from the, across the terminals of the PV panel is controlled. Now this load or not is considered resistive. Now let us make this into a dynamic load and see what happens. So if I consider this load and remove this, replace this load with a dynamic load consisting of let us say a capacitance. Now this becomes a DC bus and that capacitance is connected to another power converter. It could be a switched mode DC-DC converter or an inverter. So I will just name it as a power converter which could be DC-DC or DC-AC and goes to a load. So this load is a indicative load which could be a resistance, it could be a heater, it could be uh, any general load or a lighting load. So any general passive load here. So what is generally done is that the voltage here, the output voltage V0 is controlled because the load demands a uh, controlled fixed specified voltage. So generally what is done is that you have a comparator and the comparator takes feedback V0 is given as feedback here v naught and then there is a v naught reference you want your v naught to take a value as set by the reference and then this comparator output is given to a controller let us say a pi controller now to the pi controller goes to a pwm circuit and the output of the pwm goes as duty cycle input to the control input to this power converter such that the duty cycle is changed such that this V0 will match V0 ref in the steady state. So this is in general how this power converter will behave and as far as this power converter is concerned it has a DC bus here and that DC bus is varying. Now this VT across the PV panel and the DC bus here both are varying. VT varies due to insulation and uh, uh, not only that but due to this duty cycle control VT value also varies because of the IV characteristic which is um, uh, which gives different values of VT at different operating points. So as you are controlling the input power or the impedance seen at the input side the voltage across the output of this DC-DC converter is uncontrolled. So this will fluctuate, this will vary depending upon different values of D. In order to regulate the DC, you put one more power converter here and give the input varying non-fixed uh, DC bus voltage to this power converter and then sense the output voltage here, feedback and then control this output voltage. So this becomes a voltage controlled power converter which will regulate the output voltage uh, that is given to the load to the required value. So this is the general way in which my MPPT is practiced. The first part, the first converter which is interfacing with the PV source is the MPPT part. The second part is the load part or the voltage regulating part for the load. 
However, the power has to flow through two power converters and the efficiency is if this is 90%, 90 and 90 totally overall 80% efficiency. So the efficiency will be lower than if it had been operated with a single power converter. Let us now consider the load such that this load is like a battery, like a source which is capable of sinking, like the battery charging or pumping uh, power into the grid. So let me replace this load by a battery and the battery is being charged and therefore it demands a sinking current like this so that it gets charged up. So as a consequence the battery current will become I0 and this is what has to be controlled. So the power converter will behave in such a manner that it will control the current that is being fed into the battery to charge it up. So I0 has to be fed back so I will change this portion. I0 is fed back and I will have an I0 reference. So I0 and I0 reference I, I are compared, the error is driving the PI controller, the output of which will uh, modulate this uh, triangular carrier and you get the pulse width modulated uh, control input to this power converter which will operate in a manner such that I0 will try to match I0 ref. Now as the V0 voltage across the battery is fixed. The voltage across the battery is more or less constant fixed by the battery because the battery is also a source. The current that is being pumped in, the current into V0 is the power and as V0 is fixed, current is representative of the power and we can say I0 is proportional to power being fed into the battery. And as I0 matches I0 ref, will ultimately try to reach I0 ref. I0 ref is proportional to the power that is being fed into the battery source. So to charge it up. So I0 ref being proportional to power and there is this MPPT controller which is measuring V and I of the PV panel and trying to give an output here which is uh, proportional to the maximum power that the PV can uh, deliver, we can connect this to this reference. So let the reference I0 reference be set by MPPT controller such that maximum power can be delivered to the bat for charge. So what we will do for this current controller, we will give the reference from the MPPT controller. So the MPPT is finding out which is the peak power operating point accordingly the current reference is being set and I0 here will try to match it and maximum power will be delivered into the battery for charging. Under such condition this portion is now not needed. So we can remove that portion make this connection and uh, uh, we, we see that we just need the MPPT controller portion and we need the current controller part and then we, the, we need this power converter. Power is flowing through only one power converter and therefore efficiency is greatly improved. So wherever there is uh, a, a load like the battery, wherever there is a source type of load which is sinking to charge up or uh, the grid where it can sink power, uh, you can use current controlled technique and the MPPT can directly feed into the reference of the current controller. In this way, you will be improving the efficiency and get uh, a better utilization of the PV power. The same method can be applied even to AC voltage sources, for example, the grid and similar type of topology can be used.